Okay, uh, hello all. I uh, decided to try out uh, using a NAS server and uh, in uh, VirtualBox just how to set it up and stuff. Um, it's kind of interesting, and especially for Arch Linux. And I'm using Arch Linux 64 a bit. And uh, there's a few things you have to prepare. Obviously, we have to download uh, the actual server. So that's at this address here. So I'll just copy that and we'll just open a web browser and uh, there we go. paste and go. And top here, so this is the address and then the top download from SourceForge. Uh, first one's fine, the ISO. And I've already downloaded that, so make sure you have that downloaded. Uh, the next one is to get. Uh, some extras for VirtualBox just to make sure it's going to work. So I'll try to put this in the description. If not, I'll upload the notes somewhere. So it's uh, VirtualBox downloads, wiki, and all platforms are supported. Now that's for version 4.2.16. If you have an older version like 4.1.26 uh, or th this one here, you have to download them respectively from here. And that, uh, I already have that downloaded, so we can close these two. We'll open their uh, virtual box. And you go to uh, File Preferences, and on Extensions, you can see that I already have it installed, the, ex the extra extensions. You can add a package and it's already here, so I already have it installed, so I don't need to install it. So make sure you have that installed. And I don't want to reinstall it, it's fine. And just to make sure, check your version. And you can see here it's 4.2.16. Okay, um, hopefully you won't have to restart, but uh, you should do a mod probe of uh, these three files. So, I've gone through this many, many times, so I'm just using copy and paste. So it's VBox driver, VBox net filter, VBox net adapter, just the uh, fill in the blanks, short forms. So, open your terminal, you can uh, type those in or just paste it in and your password and if it comes back with nothing no errors then we know that they're loaded and to make them load at startup you use this here sudo nano and then the, this path here so I'll make sure that's copied again copy paste enter so you need these three as I mentioned before so when you restart, they'll be uh, loaded at startup. So save that if you don't have it there. Okay, so welcome to VirtualBox. Um, I'm going to type in Ubuntu 64. Uh, I did try the... F it's the NAS for free is based on free BSD, but I tried it and it didn't take. So I'll just tell it it's Ubuntu. Uh, I'm going to give it 10.24, but this can run on very minimal, like I'm talking uh, 3.86, maybe even 2.86. But I'm going to give it uh, 30 gigs, create, and settings, uncheck floppy, processor, I'm just going to give it 2. Like I said, it can run very minimal. Display, we don't have to worry anything. Uh, storage, we'll just add uh, the ISO that you download and press OK. And we should be good to go, so I'll press start. So once it's uh, ready, uh, you have a console menu and we want to pick the last option, which is uh, here uh, 9 install upgrade from live CD, live USB. So you hit just press 9, enter, and Choose the second option. They say to use it as embedded, so 
uh, keyboard down to number two and press OK. And it tells you what it's going to do. It's going to create master boot partitions for uh, one, two, and three as a swap. Or you can leave out swap. So it's going to ask you where is it coming from? Well, it's the virtual disk you downloaded and where to. And it's ADA0 on VirtualBox. Now, do you want to add a swap file? Um, if you want to, I'll go through this. You don't have to. You say yes. And you give it a number. Uh, say 2048 or something. Oh, I don't think so. 2048. Press OK. And it will uh, set up the partitions for you. When it's done, it gives you uh, some instructions to use a data partition. Uh, add disk ADA0 to disk management page. Mount uh, Add the mount point to disk's mount point manager page and the parameters should be disk is ADA0 partition 2 partition type is MBR and file system is UFS. To enable swap you go to system advanced swap page and then you have to specify its device and it automatically picks it up which is DEV ADA 0 S 3 and it says press enter to continue exit and what we can do just untick this uh, NAS for free and we want to reboot so press 7 and answer yes okay once it's rebooted uh, you can see the LAN IP address is not right uh, so we have to configure that but first if you have your mouse out of the uh, the virtual box select devices from here or you can go down to here and right click and network adapters we change that to bridged okay even it works on uh, wireless as well you select OK then press 2 enter uh, your choice uh, DHCP usually uh, IPv6 I don't have so no and hopefully it'll come back and tell us what address we need Okay, there it is there. Uh, 192.168.0.104. It might be, more than likely, it might be a little different. It might be 192.168.1 and a different n number after that. Now, if you're having problems with this part, is check your firewall. Make sure it's allowing this to happen. And if you have a router, especially check the lease time on uh, whatever you have open and make sure you have enough open so you can uh, have. An extra land, so land uh, client, so something like 100. This last part to 104 or 105. We'll go to our Weeb 192. There it is. Okay, so there we are. It's up and running, and the default username and password is admin and. N A S, no capital, and then a number four, and then F R E E, and then hopefully we can just uh, log in. There we go. Okay, so we're at the uh, NAS or the administration panel. Probably a good idea of doing this on a on, on another machine is to change your password and uh, make it fairly strong. Use a password generator or something. Okay, so it told us to go to Disks Management, Add this one, and you click Add, and then Apply Changes. Okay, now we go to Disk uh, Mount Point, Add again, and you must choose one. It's only one here. Uh, we want to change this partition type to MBR partition. This goes to 2. And UFS is fine. You can call it something you want. Data. And the rest is fine. Click Add. Apply Changes. The neat thing about this, now you can start getting to some fun stuff with services. Uh, CIFS uh, SMB Samba uh, for Windows types is you have to go over to here, this side here. Make sure that click enables is on. And they give you some points down here. 
enable um, asynchronous I.O. switch to increase the CIFS. But I'm just going to leave it as it is. So it says save and restart. And changes have been su applied successfully. So now we have uh, Samba based access. Uh, speaking of access, we have to go to users and groups. Well, this is what I do anyway. I'm going to add and give it a login name and your full name, whatever. And your password, I'll just call it P A S S W O R D. <laughs> P A S S W O R D, because this is uh, not permanent. Uh, primary group is get. We'll just leave that as it is. Um, before I uh, leave this section, I forgot uh, we have to go to uh, under your settings for services. You have to go to shares and create a share directory. So you click add, name it anything you want. I had uh, data and data disk. Again, I think you're, you have to add that common in there. Anyway, for the path, you can just select browse and there's data and hit OK and it's MNT slash data. After that's uh, finished, uh, you can browse through that, uh, but defaults are fine in this case, so we'll hit add and make sure you hit this apply changes. If you don't, it won't uh, be applied. There we go. And last thing I forgot to mention is if we have to go to uh, if you want to swap partition added. So you go to system advanced and under the heading swap again make sure this uh, enable is ticked and it's it's not a file it's a device type and it's dev slash ada in this case zoom in a bit more zero s three I hope and hopefully that'll save and changes have been made Okay, the next step is to configure the Samba client in Arch Linux. It should be installed by default. If not, just install it through Pac-Man. Alright, so we're done with the web interface for now. So we'll have to make a mount point. So it's sudo mkdir slash mnt and then whatever you want to call it. I'll just call it nas. Now I've made some notes and this is from the Arch Linux wiki about mounting uh, your uh, server. So here's the basic uh, outline and then you have to specify the uh, server name and the SharePoint and the mount point here, your username, your password, workgroup is fine and the IP address. With any luck if you just take this whole line that you make or you just type in, with any luck I'll paste that in and oops, I have to make sure that's sudo press enter. Okay, so it didn't come back with any error, so more than likely it's accessible. So I'll just exit the terminal. You go to your home folder and press control L, go to MNT and see NAS is here, NAS, whatever you want. To, it's called whatever you want. So it's uh, slash MNT slash whatever you called it, in this case NAS, capital letters. So you can uh, copy that go to your home folder uh, if you don't have open terminal here just open a terminal here. Um, ln so we'll make a symbol symbolic link I guess to that same directory slash mnt slash nas and whatever you want to call it I'll just call it nas enter exit out of there go back to your home folder and there it is. There's the link. So what can you do? Well, let's go back, home, and say we have uh, pictures. And I'll open this in a new window. You go and this folder, and just like you can just drag and drop, whatever you wish. You can take a whole directory, wallpapers. or whatever you can uh, if you have the enable create a new document test um, NAS for free test doc 
save, quit, and there it is. Open it again. Uh, you want to delete it. Yep. Okay, so you have full access to whatever your hard drive would be. When you're done with this in VirtualBox, uh, you can you can add it to your file system table, but um, you probably won't be want to be running this in VirtualBox. Well, you might, but if you do, uh, look on the Arch Linux wiki under Samba, and it'll show you how to add that and some ex extra things. Okay, so that's pretty much all I can say is uh, and NAS for free is. Uh, great. Uh, make sure you you don't have to. Uh, the the great thing about NAS, the this project is the whole thing is headless. So what I take that to mean is it doesn't need once it's set up. You don't need a keyboard. You don't need a monitor. And it's very low on resources. If you look through the settings in the web interface, there's power management, when to spin down disks if you want or not. And all kinds of other things, and as I said, it, it runs on very minimal uh, spec hardware uh, in today's terms. Okay, so that's NAS, um, in VirtualBox, in Arch Linux. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.